I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the Vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Of course. Can I get you... All right, all right. Ah, Commander. Good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. The Seneschal said it was your call, Commander. Technically, all the man's guilty of is theft. But who knows what else he might have come here to do. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the blight and vanquisher of all evil, aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? Somehow I just thought that my father's murderer would be, uh, more impressive. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? My father served the hero of Riverdane, and fought against the Orlesians, yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you. But then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. We used to live here once upon a time. Father didn't take everything with him to Denerim. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The Howes are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha! Ironic, isn't it? If you let me go, uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. I could lie, if you prefer. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. 
But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. You're right. I'll go join Queen Honora's service immediately. She'll certainly want another how around. The how served Ferelden for twelve generations. My ancestors served under King Kalanhad. And now it's all lost. So go ahead and do what you're going to do. All ready? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? Uh, how? He figures that they would turn up again. The Howes are implacable enemies, Commander. You what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. You really want a how as a Grey Ward? You are a very strange woman. I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The Howe is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live. I'm here to serve, Commander. I will do what can be done, but you would be wise to keep alert for trading possibilities in your journeys. If you can persuade any merchants to trade here, it would benefit the Vigil considerably. Very well, Commander. Commander, the Lords of Amaranthine have come to swear fealty to you and the Grey Wardens. These were our Rendon House vassals. Now they will be yours. Some of these Lords bore Rendon no love, but others had their prospects ruined with his demise. Tread carefully, Commander. Lords and ladies, I present the Warden Commander of Ferelden and Arl of Amaranthine. Commander. Ban Esmeral of Amaranthine, as is old custom, you have the honor of beginning. I promise that I, Ban Esmeral, will be faithful to the Arl in matters of life, limb, and earthly honor. 
Never will I bear arms against her or her heirs. So I say, in the sight of the Micker. I promise that I, Lord Edelbreck... And so the ceremony is complete. Long live the Warden Commander! A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Warden Commander, we've all heard so much about you. So many good things, unbelievable things. But many of your deeds cost people here a chance at great advancement. So many fortunes were deeply intertwined with the old Arl. Some nobles here, they seek to end your dominion over them. I wish I was less certain, sir. I've had occasion to intercept some of their missives. They are cryptic things. Any individual message is unintelligible, but together they form a pattern. They mean to end you before you can begin. A deadly coalition. Given a few days, I can retrieve the messages. I would have brought them tonight, but I didn't know if warning you would be wise. I've much to lose and precious little to gain. Farewell. We will meet again soon. Don't worry. I'll keep my mouth firmly shut. Why don't I just wait in the corner then? Now's better than later.
Got it. May I be of service? Certainly. Honored to meet you, Warden Commander. You come to us during desperate times. Not more about your precious farms, Edelbrecht. Some in our Arling do not have the comfort of city walls. On the plains, the situation is dire. As we feast, the peasants on our lands are starving, or worse. The city's defenses are more important, Edelbrecht. There may be wheat in the silos now, but if the farmers die, where will you get your food? Thank you, my liege. It's an honor to have you as our liege, Commander. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Edelbrecht speaks truly, sir, but things are dire. He and Ban Esmeral both contest the deployment of soldiers, but we don't have enough men. It's a matter of what you want to protect. The city, the land, trade. As you wish. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, uh, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. Do you know the conspirators? The right of high justice is yours, and treachery is a capital offense. She's a sly one, Sir Tamra, but knowledgeable about such things. Better to be a touch paranoid than turning up face down in a ditch. To proceed, we'd need strong proof, and that'll be hard to gather. There are options, some I would not recommend. They could turn the nobles fierce. We could have some soldiers try to spy on the nobility. I suppose that might bear fruit. There are also rumors of someone called the Dark Wolf, who finds information for a fee. Dangerous fellow, by all accounts. No idea, honestly. Somewhere in the foreign quarter of Amaranthine is all I know. Not bleeding likely, in truth. Good men. Lousy spies. You could invite a member of each of the noble families to stay as prolonged guests. And if anything untowards happens, 
Well, you get the picture. This is a terribly Orlesian thing to do. You need to head to the city then, and chase down a ghost. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Ah, if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. There's really only two who can offer real support in the war. Lord Edelbrick, master of the Firavel Plains, controls more farmland than anyone else. He's powerful and popular. Van Esmeral rules the city. Wealthiest in the room by far. She may not be loved, but she cannot be ignored. Commander. I see that Lord Edelbrick wastes no time in canvassing you for soldiers to defend his farms. Do not be deceived, Commander. His livelihood is all he cares about. Amaranthin is the jewel of the Arling, and she must be protected. Pragmatism. A farming hovel can be rebuilt with straw and mud. Amaranthine was built over generations. If she falls, then this great Arling will be diminished. Wealth is well and good, but what measure do you put to human life? The folk in the country outnumber your city dwellers many times over. I would not be so vulgar as to violate the decorum of this event. Commander? Villages come and go, but a city that has been sacked can take generations to recover. It's an honor to have you as our liege, Commander. 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 The soldiers are doing their best to defend the city of Amaranthine. Scouts report Darkspawn throughout the Arling and amassing. Where the soldiers aren't patrolling, the land is dangerous, Commander. Very dangerous. My predecessor, Captain Rullins, and much of the senior staff were inside the keep proper at the time. How they met their fates is unknown. All we know is dark spawn swarmed the keep. Barely any, truth be told, and none of the wardens. But there are many soldiers still out patrolling the roads between here and Amaranthine. We can recover from this. I talked with the dwarf Voldrick earlier. It's his belief, and I concur, that they came from the keep itself. The deep cellars go very deep indeed. Voldrick suspects the Darkspawn found a hidden route into the keep. That is... Disturbing, Commander. But all throughout the lands we've heard rumors. Tales of new Darkspawn. Terrifying ones, forged out of nightmare and shadow. Something grave is afoot. Good day, Commander. I'm here to serve, Commander. Very well, Commander. Let me know if you want the nobles cleared out. Uh if you want the ceremony to end, I mean. As you wish, Commander. Clear the hall. The Commander has business to attend to. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes.
You're rending house, little. Did we have to come all this way? It's cold here. Very cold. <sighs> it's not that cold. The wardens have been some of our best customers, and they need us. I miss my shop. This place is so drab. It defends my sensibilities. Andraste preserved me. Ah, Warden Commander. I represent Master Wade, the finest... And bloody coldest. I can't feel my fingers. <clears throat> finest armorer in Denerum. <laughs> I thought... Well, we thought that you might have need of an armorer. This is a temporary relocation. The Darkspawn are most active around Amaranthine. We thought we could help. And I suppose the money the Crown paid us had nothing to do with it? Shh! Providing arms and armor for common soldiers. Oh, the indignity. If we are going to be so dreadfully plebeian, I don't suppose Amaranthine has any proper medal. Silverite? Viridium? Or are we back to bronze weapons? Stone clubs? Wade has uh, a point. He's happiest and fastest when presented with a challenge. If you come across any deposits of ore, let us know. Ah, oh, of course. Forcing me, me, to come to this dreadful turnip keep. Oh, the indignity. I emptied out my stores, blasting those dark spawn. Once we're done with repairs, we should talk. Samuel. Groundskeeper Samuel. Is that you? Who? Make his breath. If it isn't little Nate, I'd know that face anywhere. Groundskeeper, I am overjoyed that you stayed on. Please, do you know how my brother died? And my sister? I was in the free marches. Your brother died in the war. And Lady Delilah, don't you know? She isn't dead, son. Not that I know of. Last I heard, she married a storekeep in Amaranthine. Don't know which one. Poor girl. Did you hear that? My sister is alive. I knew about my mother and heard my brother might be dead. I suppose I just assumed that Delilah was dead too. Could we ask around the shops next time we're in Amaranthine? Thank you. I would be interested to know just what happened to her.
Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? What happened? Where did all the bloody darkspawn come from? I don't know. Just called back by the captain myself. All those Orlesians dead. I am just his blood. If the darkspawn have numbers enough to ambush the vigil... The vigil will endure, Commander. The vigil's been sacked and rebuilt dozens of times. We'll recover from the attack. Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. Aye, I'm surprised half the buildings in Ferelden haven't fallen over from a stiff breeze. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours, but I suspect it was crumbling well before they showed up. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. It will be, Warden. Good luck to anyone who tries to breach these walls. Ha! Commander. Just give me a moment. You have time to talk about the Darkspawn in the Vigil? Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. We have men who can unearth the rubble at your command. Whenever you're ready, I can take you to the basement. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep. Real deep. The hallways down here have been crumbling for years and decades. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favours. No one knows. The Vigil's always been here. Since the Barbarians, they say. Who knows what's at the bottom? You heard the Commander. Put your backs into it. This is where you come in. Who knows what's up ahead? We'll be back here. You couldn't pay me enough to be a Warden, charging off into dark basements like that. Ooh. Now's better than later. The whole quiet and stoic thing must get you a lot of action, huh? I take it you're an admirer, Ogren. What? No! No. Well, not unless... No! Good. Then I needn't worry about getting too drunk at camp. <laughs> okay. I like you, just not in that way. I'll get on it.
Adria. She was... She was like a mother to me. We must save her. Sure thing. Great. What do you want? Keep them on their toes! I'll take care of you. Hurt you, guys! Stop! Mr.
Oh, thank the Maker. Please, let us out. Really? Maybe we'll just stay here. Rotting bodies don't smell half as bad as the food they give us. As you wish. This crypt is old, really old. I bet it was here before the current keep was built. I'll get on. I'm running, man. Is that all you've got? Say your plan. Never a dull moment. I'm done with you. Your wish is my command. Immediately. Your wish is my command. Immediately. As you wish. Your wish is my command. No. No, Adria. We have to help her. There must be some way. Adria.
immediately. You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I... well... You hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it firsthand... Well... I'm impressed. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. Aye, the Orlesian lads would have had a terrible surprise. Explains how experienced men fell to the Darkspawn. This is a grave matter. If we don't shut these tunnels, the Darkspawn can attack from below again. And trust his blood, there are basement entrances throughout the keep. There's no way to defend against that. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. Never you fear, lass. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course. Your wish is my command. Commander. Just give me a moment. Commander. Commander, the soldiers are doing their best to defend the city of Amaranthine. Scouts report Darkspawn throughout the Arling and amassing. Where the soldiers aren't patrolling, the land is dangerous, Commander. Very dangerous. Good day, Commander. Commander. Good day, Commander. Now's better than later. Uh, yes. Yes. Were you there when my father was killed? Yeah. Don't go digging in the dust for things laid to rest. It does no one any good. Whatever people say about him, he was still my father. And I just want to know if... if he suffered. Uh, I'm not the person to ask. Very well, Ogren. Evade the question. You're back. You need anything? Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Viridium? Armor and weapons could be made with this. Commander, if you like, we could outfit your men. It wouldn't cost you anything, but some soldiers would have to guard the miners. So I'm to make armor for all Amaranthine's rabble? 
Heren, you abuse me so. It's unconscionable. Commander's orders. Fine, fine, I'll work. But I want a challenge one day. Something to sink my teeth into. Got it.
Another step and poor Lady Eileen dies. Where's Lord Bensley? The deal was he'd give us the money himself. Orc Shoa. Hand over the gold. Now. Orc, send her over. The money. Now. Defend yourselves, men. Speak, and it will be done. I love how desperate you are. You're prophetic. easily. Now's better than later. I'll show you why mages are feared. What is your command? Can do this! This is my favorite car! <laughs> 